Alex, Kate, Ashira, Linda, and Sarah are present in an orderly pile. They are some murmuring when suddenly Mr. Shea enters. He is dancing back and forth a little bit. Settle down, guys. We have so much to cover today. So much biology. If you wish to study science, there are some rules you must show compliance. Laugh at my jokes and don't be late. Might I add, curling's great. Lots of detention, Alex. Not again. Ask many questions. Don't be shy. You are wrong, but go on and try. If you work hard, you're sure to succeed. Biology is all you need. Listen up, people! There was just an announcement saying that class is over. But since you were talking, I guess you'll just have to stay here. Aww. Where was I? Right. After much careful deliberation and the use of a friend's goblet of fire, I have finally selected the students that will be attending the field trip of a lifetime. A fully paid flight to a research facility on the Arctic tundra. Ooh. These students, by strange coincidence, happen to be the class's best and brightest, with the obvious exception of Laura Lapine, who, as you know, is currently being trained as supreme leader of the Earth people. In any case, the lucky students are Sarah Cook, yay! Ashita Haria, yeah! Kate Carroll, yay! Linda Nyo, woo! And Alex Corbett, yay! Pack your bags, guys. Soon we leave for the frigid tundra. This trip will be great. I can't wait to embark. Hopefully this will raise our bio Mars. Hurry, students. Don't be slow. Here's our It is still dark, faint buzzing. Sounds are still heard. No one is on stage, or if they are, they cannot be seen. It is dark. You guys, I'm so excited. We're going to the rainforest. Uh, not quite, Sarah. We're actually going to the tundra. Oh, I was so excited to see Homo habilis. Oh well, this will be super mega fun as well, I'm sure. Sarah, how much coffee did you have this morning? None. Oh no. Enough chatter, guys. Alex, that's a detention. Aww. Now, our pilot has kindly agreed to drop us off exactly at our research facility destination. Prepare to land. Woo! Completely desolate. Empty white spaces. Students and Mrs. Shea are alone. There is no research facility. There is no bed and breakfast. There is a lot of white. That's not going to help in this particular situation. Wow! It's delightfully freezing out here. I am cheerfully shaking in my boots. Sarah's right. It's really cold here. Where's the research facility? Where's the scientists? Hmm. This isn't what the brochure showed. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to speak to our pilot for a moment. Don't get eaten. Okay. okay. What are we going to do? This is not the field trip I agreed to. Oh, relax, Ash. We'll figure something out. Yeah, and if all else fails, there's always cannibalism. Right. You guys, this is getting ridiculous. It must be minus a million degrees here. Don't exaggerate, Linda. Remember all that bio-research we did? The climate here isn't all that bad. It's freezing out here. But that's expected. Minus 22 degrees in that. Celsius, don't close your eyes. They might get stuck together. See the snow, see the white, see the darkness. Feel the winter air, freeze your bones, it's hard to see. Little sunlight in the winter, Mom. Oh, oh, so this is the time you're on the Arctic coastline. North America, Siberia, Greenland as well. And the land here is so dry, 20 centimeters fall in here. But I say, be with the tundra, the barren land is pretty sweet. Polar air plants everywhere that kill keep you on your feet. No music 
tries to fill it up with human trash and wicked cake. If the wild tundra come and I just say okay. Any time now. Same as before, white, entirely white, very, very pale. Okay, well I think that sorted out. The problem seems to be that, obviously, this is not the research facility. A less obvious problem would be that that actually wasn't our pilot, and there is a very irate Englishman standing by his plane right now. But ignoring that, I've managed to contact the scientist we were supposed to meet, and they'll be sending out their plane as soon as they can. Yay! Yay! Which should be in about an hour. So get comfortable, guys. Aww. But I know a good use for our time. Why don't you all study for our upcoming test? Alex, you could probably use this extra hour. Good. Oh, it's okay, Alex. Maybe he's right. After all, the Tundra must be a great example of primary and secondary succession. Of what? Oh dear. Well, Kate, you see... Where on the tundra it's freezing, you're upset. You're forgetting about what Mr. Shea just said. He said we have an hour to study for our test. And now it would seem that none of you could say just what we all learned in class yesterday about succession. Products and just one more thing. It's primary, it's succession. It occurs when land has no organization. After an incident where the topsoil is lost and nothing's left to grow in the land so full of nothingness. Can you see that with a primary succession, land that's lost its primary direction would be left to grow nothing till the end? Sometimes it's a slight new disruption where the new inhabitants get displaced. Well, then we get to secondary succession that is quite legendary to replace the growth that already took hold. Climax community is our last stage. Stable organisms, golden age. Can't you see? Climax community is a balance, see? And with the balance comes so many products fused by humans to improve our conduct. What could they be? And now featuring Lil Wayne. Burberry to ease some pain, stab and leaf for Vunsy, and take lumber plant to help with skin breaks, half flower for cataract ache. Oh, oh, can't you see? Important community. Tundra community. Wow, thanks, little Wayne. It's so much clearer now.